What's up guys, Seth here. Welcome back to Bachelor MMA. In this video, I want to talk about the rematch, the co-main event of UFC 223, the current strawweight champion, Rose Namajunas versus Joanna Jomjejic. Look, if you look at the odds in this fight, Joanna is actually the favorite. And I'm not surprised by that because Joanna has been the most dominant strawweight champion. It's a new division, but she dismantled Sparza and she's been on a very dominant run. And she was a big favorite to win at UFC 217 against Rose. When I did the, the fight prediction for UFC uh, 217, I was confident that Rose was going to lose the fight because there was no way her stand-up was better than Joanna's. I didn't think she had better grappling than Joanna. I didn't think she could keep the pace that Joanna can put on her. And I didn't think that her fight IQ was better than Joanna. So I was like almost 100% sure that Joanna was going to win. She shocked the world. She shocked me. I was watching the fight. I was jumping out of my seat watching her uh, win the way that she did. A lot of people were saying it's a fluke, it was a lucky shot, this and that. Uh, Joanna talked about the hard weight cut that she had to endure prior to the fight. She changed her basically nutrition team. She got a new nutrition team for the weight cut. But you know, I think the most important thing that uh, Thug Rose and and her team revealed was the mental aspect of of the game leading up to the fight. Right. They were talking about how they didn't post anything on social media because they knew that that would drive Joanna crazy. They talked about how just staying very silent, showing no emotion during the fight. They knew all the head games that Joanna would bring, the trash talking, the, the stare down, even the touching, right? They expected that. So when Joanna, you know, reached in and touched Rose, she absolutely showed no emotion. And I think that really bothered Joanna. And I think the mental game did work. So question is, what's going to happen in the rematch? How is she going to approach this fight now that she's no longer the champion, but she's still the favorite, right? Is she going to try to touch Rose again now that she knows that Rose knew what she was going to do? Is she going to try to be more humble? What is she going to do? You know, obviously I want to see the, the press conference where they're face to face. I wonder, I, I do think she's going to be more humble. I mean, she has to be. She just got knocked out in the first round. So I don't know if she's going to be talking the same kind of smack. Um, we've seen champions lose. Uh, in devastating fashion come back to win the belt back and we've also seen champions lose and, and never be the same again. GSP versus Matt Serra, that was one of the biggest uh, upsets and you possibly the biggest upset in UFC history but the difference was GSP just became a champion, right? He literally just became the champion, his first title defense against Serra and then got slept but he came back, he was able to come back get the belt and become a champion for a very, very long time. I think this is more like the case with like a BJ Penn or a Henan Barai where they were dominant and, 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 and nobody expected Frankie Edgar to beat BJ. BJ was the favorite. He lost that fight. It was a close fight. He lost. But in the second fight, BJ was also the favorite if I recall correctly. And then Frankie Edgar beat him even worse, right? It was even even like, okay, he, he's definitely the champion. And the same thing with uh, Henan Barai, when he, when he lost to Dillashaw, it was like, what's going on? And when he lost the second time, it was even worse. So I think in this fight, you know, the mental aspect, uh, that's going to be the key. You know, forget, this, forget everything else. The mental aspect, who's going to be mentally more prepared? Is, is Rose going to be confident? Is she going to be too confident coming into this fight? Is she going to approach it the same way? Um, how's Joanna going to approach this? How's her weight cut going to be? So those are all questions that... Honestly, none of us have the answer to until the night of the fight. But I'm I'm absolutely on the Rose uh, hype train. You know, I think she is now, she is the champion, and I think she's gonna beat Joanna. And I don't know if Joanna's ever gonna be the same. Sometimes you're never the same after a knockout loss or a bad fight. I mean, we've seen Anthony Pettis. He hasn't been the same since that loss to RDA. You know, I don't know if I don't know if uh, Joanna's gonna be the same after. That KO loss to uh, Rose. Keep in mind that she's been not only a, a, a great champion, a champion for many years now, but she is, you know, she's been fighting for a long time. You know, she has a very long and decorated striking career as, as a striker, you know, as a kickboxer, as a Muay Thai fighter. So she's been doing this for a long time. And uh, uh, while the division is new, she's been, she's been on top for a very long time. So maybe everything else just kind of wrapped up. I don't know if she's going to be the same again, but my prediction is I got Rose by finish. I think the fight is going to go a little bit longer. I think definitely she's going to be a little bit more prepared this time. Maybe, you know, third round, maybe into the championship rounds. But in the end, I do see Rose winning by uh, TKO in the fourth round. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know in the comment section who you got. 
uh, will Rose retain her belt or will Joanna become a, a two-time champion in the women's strawweight division? And also, if you haven't seen my breakdown of Max Holloway uh, versus Habib, make sure you watch that and make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with all my videos.